First and foremost, I just want to thank you guys for 50k. I was supposed to make this video when I got to 50k, and then I forgot. But here we are now, better late than never, I suppose. I sent out a community post thing too, actually, asking for some questions. And today they're gonna get answered. I got one question and I gotta make it count. I mean, to be fair, you probably could have asked more than one question. But, okay. Will NHL 24 exist? If yes, what songs do you want in the soundtrack? Well, to answer the first part, yes. I am quite convinced that NHL 24 will indeed exist. As for the soundtrack part, that's a good question. I feel like I haven't actually listened to the soundtrack since, like, NHL 14. Personally, though, I was always a fan of the more rock, heavy rock, metal kind of playlist. Like, NHL 06 is a shoe in for me. Gotta be, I would say, top two, probably number one for my all-time soundtracks. NHL 03 also bangs. I mean, NHL 05 with Take Me Out, 04, O Ellen, and there's a bunch of other heaters on both of those. I, yeah, the old soundtracks were just better. Again, maybe they've done that in recent games again, and I have no idea because I don't listen to the soundtrack anymore, but I can't even give you specific songs because they're just so good at finding songs that I never would have listened to otherwise. Like, if I scroll through my NHL heaters playlist, I already knew about Gob, Franz Ferdinand I would have known about anyway, but like Manchester Orchestra, Wolves at Night, I think that's from like NHL 08, same with Raw Scanners, I never would have found those songs if it wasn't for NHL, and they are unbelievable. Strong by Green Wheel, that's from 03, Orphis by Ash, that is 05 I believe. From Out of Nowhere, that's probably a song I would have found, Papa Roach, I would have known about them. I forgot Avenged Sevenfold was in 06. That just makes it even better. So yeah, I would say just a combination of, you know, hard rock, rock and metal songs that people know. Like the sort of out there common ones, maybe a bit of punk rock, I guess. I don't know if that even really exists anymore. And then some hidden gems that they somehow find, and I have no idea how. But I am thankful that they did, because otherwise I never would have. What has helped you persevere making content, even though the NHL video games are so bad now? I wish NHL was fun. But it hasn't been for so long, and it's been difficult to find the drive to play it, unfortunately. Well, if you want my honest opinion, I don't think the games are bad. And I know people are gonna say, you're a content creator, EA's paying you to say that. They're absolutely not. Is there flaws in the game? Sure. Missing features? Yup. I still have a good time, though. I don't even play Hockey Ultimate Team anymore. Even though it's kind of beating a dead horse, I still find playing goalie, you know, the Be A Pro series, to be a ton of fun. Can it be frustrating? Yeah. That's not the game's fault, though. That's my fault for being bad. Could you possibly get away with playing NHL 21 still? Yeah, most likely with the stuff I do. The beautiful thing about NHL 23 is community rosters. Because that way, you can still get roster updates even when the game is old. And as for what's helped me persevere making content, I just like doing it. Quite frankly, it gives me something to do. I like to keep myself busy, which is good because I get a lot of stuff done, but... I'm not very good at relaxing, so that is a bit of a detriment there. I'll wake up at like 5.30, 6 a.m. and just kind of be like, what do I do now? And then I end up finding my way down here, pulling up the green screen and just making a video. So yeah, it's basically just that. It gives me something to do and I have fun with it, so why not? Congrats on reaching 50k. Thank you. I've been watching you since the NHL 14 goalie be a pro. First of all... The contrast between me now and that man of the writ is outrageous. I'm pretty sure that I made Goalie Be A Pro videos back then that were four minutes, and I think that there was probably 52 swear words per minute. I was wondering, who is your favorite goalie? That's actually a good question. I haven't really given that much thought. For some reason, I was always a really big fan of Rick DiPietro. Maybe it was like a hockey card I got or something. I genuinely cannot provide a good reason. But even though he was made of glass, Rick DiPietro has got to be up there for me. I like Flower, Marc-Andre Fleury, because how can you not like that guy? I'm just trying to think of some goalies that I like. So Hank would be one. Carey Price has got to be one for sure. Ryan Miller was sick. So if we're going all-time, it's probably Rick DiPietro. If we're going current, Marc-Andre Fleury. Hopefully he hasn't retired. I don't know. I haven't been paying much attention to this offseason. What do you enjoy most about making YouTube videos? You've been doing it for a while, so something must keep you going. This basically goes back to the other question, and I just like doing it. I guess also it's kind of just cool that I have people that actually want to watch my videos, because I remember 
when I was young, it might have even been elementary school days, you know, buying a Dazzle capture card and hooking up that red, white, and yellow cable. YouTube was probably very young at the time and it was just, you know, cool. My friend and I would watch Halo 3 videos and that's pretty much how I got my start actually, was playing Halo 3. I remember we made a montage where it was just the worst thing ever. Like every clip would just be replayed in slow motion after it and... <laughs> oh my, wow, okay. <laughs> I think we put like a double kill in there, which is easily the least impressive thing in the world. But anyway, yeah, I moved on to Call of Duty. I was an editor at one point, trying to get into some teams for editing and stuff like that. But yeah, I've just liked it. <laughs> it's the best way to put it. I really don't know how else to describe it. Who do you think will be better when their careers are all said and done? Connor McDavid or Connor Bedard? This could be a freezing cold take, but I'm gonna say Connor McDavid by 58 miles. I don't know why I used miles when I'm Canadian. By 58 kilometers. Just doesn't have the same ring to it. I think McDavid is just generational and, you know, He's gonna dominate for a long time still. I don't know, that's just my opinion. If you were driving at the speed of light and turned your high beams on, would they do anything? I don't have much experience driving at the speed of light. As a matter of fact, I have none. I mean, high beams don't really do much for you during the day anyway, so are we driving during the day? Is this maybe a trick question? Because if you're traveling at the speed of light, you're going the same speed, not faster than... So maybe they would do something? I don't know. I'm just gonna go ahead and say you stumped me with this one. No clue. How long does it usually take to edit a video? Longer than I would like it to is what I'm gonna say. I guess it depends on the video. On average, I would say maybe close to an hour or so, unless I'm super hyper-focused on it and just doing that, which I'm usually not. I'll have something else going on and I'll just kind of edit in between. So yeah, I would say roughly an hour. Could be 45 minutes to half an hour if I'm just specifically doing that. Editing the video is definitely the least fun part of the whole process. I think career sims might take a little bit longer because there's a lot more footage to go through and half the time Elgato corrupts the footage or something weird happens with the audio and my editing software that just causes it to crash pretty much so I have to re-export the video in some other format. It's just, I don't know. But yeah, I would say Probably, on average, about an hour. What is your favorite hockey memory? If we are talking about the NHL, then it is when the Capitals won the cup. And nothing comes close to that. If you're talking about my favorite memory, I think there's probably two that come to mind right away. And both of them are from hockey tournaments. So this first one would have been when I was in elementary school and we went to a tournament. My mom and I got there early. We were watching some team and they looked really good. We were kind of like, I wonder who that team was. And some random person told us the team. We're like, oh, okay. And it turns out we ended up facing them. There's not much else to it, but the time was running out. The game was tied. I don't remember what the score was at all, but we were about to go to overtime and somehow I got sprung on a breakaway. The guy was kind of like hooking me and trying to pull me back, but I somehow managed to score with, I'm not even kidding, like 0.2 seconds on the clock probably. And the ref was freaking out like, goal! <laughs> it was so funny. I'm not normally one to selly, you know, but this was a special occasion and I specifically remember grabbing my jersey and going like this. So yeah, good times. The second one that comes to mind is also a tournament. We were playing in something called the Silver Stick. It was the finals. The winner got to go on to, what is it? I think there's regional and then national or something like that. There's two different tiers of the tournament. So the way these overtimes worked is it was five on five for the first five minutes and then every five minutes, another player would come off and it'd be like a whole period ending sort of cycle. And the players that were out there were out there. You couldn't change. So I was put out there on the 2v2, which is nuts. Like next up it would have been 1v1, but yeah, anyway, I ended up scoring and we won. And that was cool. So yeah, that's probably it. Do you have a job outside of YouTube? Also, congrats on 50k. Keep up the great work. Well, thank you very much. I do have a job outside of YouTube. 
I need one. <laughs> but yeah, I went to university for four years, got a degree in software, and now I am a software engineer. I actually remember making a website, kind of recently, just for fun. And the whole idea was that it's like fantasy hockey, except you draft teams and not players. I came up with some gimmicky name like Fan Teamsy. I believe, yeah, that's what it was for sure. But yeah, I guess I'm a full stack developer. <laughs> if anybody watching this even really knows what that means. Who would you like to see on the cover of NHL 24? That is a question. I'm not a big fan of repeat covers, so I'm not gonna say anybody that's already been on it. I can think of four players that I think would be really cool. Drysida would be one, Tage Thompson, Nate Mack, absolutely, and Pasta, yeah. Any of those four, I think deserve it. I'm not saying they're the only four that deserve it. There's definitely other players that could be on there, but that's just, you know, my two cents. Throwing them into the pot. As a Caps fan, do you like Crosby? Yes, absolutely. I love him. I think he's one of the best players of all time. I think he's a better all-around player than Ovechkin, but OV is certainly the greatest goal scorer of all time. Do not argue with me. Crosby's just amazing. You have to respect him. Extremely talented player. I really don't know if we will ever see a rivalry like O.V. Crosby again. So that was a special time. But long story short, yes. And a follow-up question to that. Do you think Prime Connor McDavid is better than Prime Sidney Crosby? Why am I answering this one? This is tough. I think Crosby has definitely had his fair share of unfortunate injuries. McDavid had one pretty early in his career too. Didn't he break his wrist or something? Or maybe it was a collarbone? I can't really remember. For some reason, I want to say he did something to his wrist or his hand like punching glass or like in a fight. Maybe. I want to say yes, McDavid is better. But that could be recency bias as well because Sidney is just, you know, it's Sidney Crosby. This one's really got me thinking. I'm just sat here trying to figure out how to word this. I think I'm gonna say yes. For the sole reason that Connor McDavid is leveling the league right now. Like, he is rinsing everybody. He was way up there in points. And I feel like, you know, prime Sidney Crosby, the talent in the league back then probably wasn't as good as it is now. Competition is constantly getting stronger. People are you know, taking fitness very seriously these days. You have to actually be an athlete. I mean, back then you did too. I'm thinking more, you know, back in like the 70s and stuff like that where you could just go out and have a smoke break in between the second and third. That wouldn't fly anymore. I mean, I guess you still got Phil Kessel, but that guy's an anomaly. Probably eats a hot dog in between every period. I'm going to say a very unconfident yes, but I'm curious to hear your guys' opinion. So let me know. What do you think? Why are the Washington Capitals your favorite team? Truthfully, it was kind of just circumstance. Actually, when I was younger, I was a Canadians fan. And then, you know, I wasn't like really a true fan of any team. And I was like, okay, I got to pick one finally here. And the Washington Capitals were awful. And for some reason, I just gravitate to those teams. You know, like I'm a Chargers fan for the NFL. But a big part of my decision was Ovechkin. Because I was already kind of leaning towards this team. And then they drafted Ovi. And I already knew about him before the draft. I was like, this guy is unbelievable. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Will I still be a Capitals fan when Ovi leaves? Probably not as much as I am now. They will always have a special place in my heart, for sure. But they might move to number two. It's hard to say. Who is the best player from every division? I would say that the central is easy, but Leon puts up a good fight. I am going to go with Connor though, but honestly, playoff Leon was a whole other beast. Central division, I'm going to go with Nate Mack, but Robertson made a really good push for that this year. Atlantic is really tough. I actually don't know because you've got Pasta, who's incredible, Kucherov, Matthews. And honestly, you can't overlook Matthew Kachuk because he just has an impact on his team. Like, it's crazy. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to say Matthew Kachuk. That's probably going to be a very unpopular opinion. Oh, well. And in the Metro, it's Ovi. Okay, maybe not anymore. Adam Fox is really good. Yeah, we have Sebastian Ajo. There's a lot of good players in the Metro, too. Jack Hughes had a great year. I really do just want to cop out and say Ovechkin. <laughs> Because I can't pick a player. You also have to consider Panarin. 
Kind of a ghost in the playoffs, though. All right, fine. You know what? Just give me Jack Hughes. Who is your favorite band or musician? Linkin Park is definitely my number one. I actually have Hybrid Theory on vinyl. And I'm going to be getting Meteora soon. So I'm pretty excited about that. How about we get some Linkin Park songs? in the NHL games. How's that sound? Why isn't Adam Fox your favorite player? You know what? I'm gonna throw that right back at you. Why is he your favorite player? Convince me. Well, there we go. Your cues have been aid. I'm trying to think if there's any common questions I get, but it's all stuff like goalie stance and what camera angle I use. The camera angle is high. I believe I use goalie stance 52. It might be burned into my mind now from answering that so much. I've also definitely seen some comments asking why I always wear a hat. And I think the answer to that is pretty obvious. It was starting to go and as soon as the pandemic hit, I just sent it. Said, see you later. Well, once again, thank you so much for 50,000. We are reaching about one hour of me recording right now. So I think that's a good time for it to end as well. And yeah, appreciate you guys. Looking forward to whatever the future holds here on this channel. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon.